So Richard, I know this is your first time here in Alberta, beautiful area, and so you look a bit like a British tourist. I, I, There's a reason for that. Yeah, I suppose so. But I figured, why don't we make you feel welcome with some local wear? Oh, uh, lovely. Oh, yeah. You said it wasn't a t-shirt. It's not a t-shirt. No, it's a tank top. We, mm. Molson was found in 1786. That's older than your country. I think you'll find that's not actually true. Welcome back, DPV TV viewers. It is Chris Nichols here, and today we're looking at the pre-production Nikon Z30, and I'm joined by Richard Butler from Seattle. Now, Richard has never been to Alberta before. He's never been to Calgary before, obviously, and so I'm gonna play tour guide. I'm gonna hand the camera over to him. He's gonna take some photos, and uh, it's a little cold out here. Richard, you should have your, your, your present on. Oh, look, you fit right in, perfect. I mean, for a man who loves to buy bespoke suits, this is so much class here. All right, let's go shoot. You look fantastic. I wish I had one to wear. So while Richard's back there documenting the Canadian wilderness and all the majesty that it entails, let's talk about what the Z30 is good at. I mean, this is a camera that's absolutely aimed at content creators, you know, vlogging, that kind of stuff, but also it can represent a very compact, very affordable, you know, travel camera, which is why he's touristing it up back there. Are you doing okay, Richard? Yeah, thumbs up. Now, let's talk about the body here first. The first thing you notice, it's not a large camera, but it does have that nice large grip. Feels very reminiscent of something you find on a Z6 or Z7. I do find that very comfortable. I love the fact that on the top here, we have a proper mode dial and two command dials. So if you are getting into more manual control, it's nice to have that capability. Now it does have an eye menu that is customizable. It's a touch screen, which I do like, very quick and easy to do that. When you flip the screen towards you as well for selfie shots, you do also have controls like timer controls, exposure compensation. That could be disabled if you don't want that, but again, it's handy to have. Now this is a vlogging camera and very much like many other vlogging cameras in the market, we do not have an EVF, but that back panel is a three inch display, just over a million dots, and it is fully articulating. I do like that. Uh, are you finding wildlife and stuff, Richard? It's elk calving season, so it's a, uh... It's good to mountains, I guess. Now, as you mentioned, the Nikon Z30 is largely aimed at content creators and vlogging, so we should do some vlogging. We've got a nice 16 mil here on the kit lens, and I got Richard here. I'm gonna teach him some Canadiana trivia and facts. He can take it home and fascinate all his friends. So Richard, you see that behind us, the Northwest Mounted Police Barracks. So this is actually the first barracks opened up in Canmore, like late 1890s. And these are the Mounties, right? You always see them on horseback, but actually, traditionally, they were gonna be riding elk because there's so many elk in this area, but in the 1890s, there was actually a supply chain issue with elk, so they went with horses. Are you sure about that? Yes. All right, so I wanna talk about the ports on the side of the Z30, but Richard's hogging the camera back. There's, are you wearing leather shoes out here in this marsh? Those are gonna get wrecked. All right, so I'm just gonna ask questions to Richard, see what we have here. So Richard, does it have a mic jack? All right, does it have a headphone jack? All right, that's too bad. Okay, HDMI port, full-size HDMI port. No, oh, it's a micro, I'm sure it's a micro, all right. And uh, USB charging, power delivery the whole time. Okay, great, so we end there on a, on a thumbs up. So underneath the grip, we've got the classic Nikon e 25 battery that's right next to a single UHS-1 SD card slot, which is fine for the data rate that we're putting through on the video here. You'll get about 75 minutes of recording time with that battery life, so that's not bad. And of course, as we mentioned, you can power the camera through USB, so that's not bad either. Now we have the 20.9 APS-C sensor in this Z30 camera probably very similar to what we've seen out of the ZFC, the Z50, as far as image quality goes. One nice thing though, that sensor can give us 4K, 30 frame per second full width, no cropping in video, whereas a camera like the Sony ZV-E10 can only do that at 24 frames per second. So that's a nice advantage. So Richard, are you enjoying Canmore? Yeah, it's really pretty. So interesting story actually about the name. So a lot of people think it's this Gaelic word meaning big chief, totally not true. It's actually far more practical than that. Canmore was a big mining community and it was actually just a pragmatic reminder to the miners here to actually can more goods to survive the winter. So of course there's many other vlogging cameras on the market, but very few if any of them actually have IBIS, that in-body image stabilization, which would be such a useful feature in a vlogging camera. Unfortunately, the Z30 doesn't have IBIS either. Yes, that would probably make the camera larger, it would add to the cost, and you do get the 1650 kit lens as an option with this body, which does have image stabilization. But there's a lot of compact prime lenses, for example, like the 28 mil, the 40 mil, which don't have any VR in them, and then without the IBIS in the body, you got gotta be careful about being stable. So I feel like that's a missed opportunity, but it is par for the course in the vlogging world. 
Now the Z30 incorporates Nikon subject detection autofocus. So you've got eye detect, you've got animal detect, and I think if you're using this camera as a travel camera, you want to shoot kids and pets and things like that, this will actually be really, really nice for that. Nice and easy to use. Richard, when did you put your coat on? Nobody can see your Molson magnificence. You gotta be loud and proud with that. So let's round out the rest of the video features here on the Z30. So I've already mentioned this shoots 4K 30 without a crop, which is great, Richard. But it also does 4K 24, and you do have slow-mo. You can shoot 60p or 120p in 1080. Now this camera does not have a log profile, but it does have a flat profile, which I think Nikon does a really good job with. We do like using that. And then there's a first here. This is a great feature. Uh, the first for Nikon ever, the Z30 actually has a tally lamp, which is that little light right on the camera. Nicely done, Richard, thank you. Which is fantastic because you can make sure the camera's recording, but it's also for other people who might walk in front of your camera, they can see the tally lamp on and have the courtesy not to wreck your shot. Now, because we have this beautiful ambient sound, there's a raven up there, there's traffic going by, I thought I would actually use the built-in microphones. They've got stereo microphones on the top of the Z30. Hopefully it sounds okay. There is an optional accessory you can get, which is a dead cat. It goes on top, you know, if you've got wind and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't have one here to show you, but one nice feature that it does have is a cold shoe on top of the dead cat. And that's great because you want another accessory like a monitor or another microphone or something like that. You do have that mounting point. All right, viewers, I got a really nice treat here. Look at this beautiful river gorge that I've brought you to. Fantastic. This is the beauty of vlogging, is I can bring you right into a wonderful immersive landscape like this. And for vlogging on the Z30, there's a really nice optional kit that you can get. So this actually comes with a Rode Video Micro, which we're using right now. You also get a small rig selfie stick, and this has got a push button so you can rotate the camera horizontally, and a separate push button so you can rotate it vertically. I like that because I'm not messing with a ball joint or anything, no levers, it's actually very easy to use. And then the Nikon remote comes with it as well, fits right into the small rig selfie stick, and then here I can control the camera remotely. So, fantastical option to bring you to amazing vistas like this. Okay, last fact for you, 100% true. This whole area, the mountains, everything, there's actually an inland sea, it used to be underwater, that all got pushed up, and you can still go up into the mountains, you can find like fossilized sea creatures. It's pretty incredible. No, I'm sorry, Chris, I just, I don't believe you at this point. No, I I'm, you not, Richard. I'm no. gonna check this. I'm no, sir, Burg Burgess Shale, look it up. No, 100% true. He's gonna, he's gonna feel bad. So where does the Nikon Z30 fit in Nikon's lineup? It is definitely more affordable than the Z50. You don't get the EVF, but you do save a little bit of money. Then you have the ZFC, which is, well, I think worth it just because it's so gorgeous. But if you just want a compact camera and you don't need an EVF, this will save you a few bucks, might be a good choice. How does it stack up against the competition? Well, the Sony ZV-10, as we mentioned, does not shoot 4K 30 without a crop, but it does have log profile, you know, maybe a little bit more capable as a video camera. However, it also comes with its own 1650 kit lens, which is frankly kind of garbage. This actually has an excellent kit lens in the 1650. It is sharp throughout the range. We like the performance of it. What about the Canon R10? That's another interesting thing that just came out. It is definitely larger, but it's still lightweight. I do like the fact that it has an EVF, and so that might be a better sort of photo video hybrid camera. It does come with a decent kit lens, but it does start at 18 millimeter wide angle, and plus Canon has that additional little extra crop with their sensors, so it's not as wide as this. So this still can be a very compelling package. All right, so Richard's disappeared. He's run off to try to get some photos of a train because the Brits just love their trains. Absolute fascination. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the Nikon Z30. And uh, leave your comments below. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon with another episode of Deep Review TV. Richard, please, just for me, just do it once. Richard, come on. Just, yeah, that's it? Oh, I got you. Oh, video evidence. Yes, you look so tough.